Ukrainian singer quits music to obey Allah's commands. So, in another episode of uh, Islam crushing another talent, um, <laughs> on December 21st, famous Jordanian Palestinian singer uh, Adham Nabulsi announced his retirement from the music industry in order to, quote, worship God and obey his commands. The video, the video through which he announced his retire retirement went viral, causing controversy. There's been a long-standing debate in the Islamic community surrounding the notion that music is haram or forbidden. Some might point to certain hadiths or Islamic scripture that contains the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad to justify that listening to music is permissible, while the hadith states that the Prophet asked his wife Aisha to sing with her neighbor. Many also say, however, that modern music is definitely haram due to its salacious lyrical content. What do you think, Armin? We need I we need think... Mullah Armin. We need we need Imam Armin to give his decree. Is music haram? Well, I mean, I, the hadith I saw specifically was talking about some st string instruments that was like the sound that was the the, the devil is responsible for. So some people are saying maybe if you don't have any string instrument, that's fine. I mean, I don't know if the hadith that they're using is it ha Sahih hadith um, or is it Zaif hadith? That depends. Like I don't know the authentic, like how authentic it's considered. Those hadiths are in Islam. But if you want to make an argument against music as a whole in Islam, there are scripture that you could use in support of that, right? And then if you want to get out of it and say like Islam is not against music there are ways to spin it maybe like to be like well this was specifically for this over here because some people are like oh but this other hadith says that you can't sing and blah 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 but do, but then they're being dishonest because those hadiths are zaif and maybe the hadith that was against the more, uh, music were stronger more sahih hadiths right so i have to i haven't done a deep dive into seeing the how authoritative the hadith that is against music is relative to the hadith that is like not you know so i don't know i just do know that there are i i am aware of the existence of hadith that specifically is anti-music especially music with string instruments um but anyways like this guy well i mean i how how what what is the likelihood of this guy just not being good at his work and he's just finding a way to become socially <laughs> more relevant on social media like what are the chances of that like is, it, is there any chance is, is there any good. chance that he's looking at his sales and his social media following and like maybe i was not met up to for this career and maybe if i just like say like i'm doing this for islam then maybe i could build a following on, uh, from the muslim community like is there a chance that that's like well you know there? what a few days later because he's saying he basically said oh i want to shift to quran recitation and he posted a video of him reciting the quran and it like went viral again so you mm. might you might be right there's a there's a i don't know i mean i can't read mine so i don't know what people's temptations are but you have to agree that there's a huge motive like there's a very there there is a demand that there is a market for saying like i left the fashion industry because of islam and i'm putting on the hijab now because of like finding allah like you see other people doing that and they're like i used to be a model and now because of islam i'm gonna just be like not doing that then you see like people's social media just explode and they get, well not the allah akbar kind of explode but you know like they just get like so many followers <laughs> <laughs> no, you just see like they're like um, it's it works. <laughs> you just become an influencer. You're like you don't have to do music or modeling to be an influ influencer, right? You could be oh like God. I did this for I did this for Allah. I found Allah, and people are like then you you, you 10x your social media following, and other mm -hmm. people see that, and some people might get tempted to just follow the same, you know. You know, I, again, I don't know. I'm I'm accusing this guy of something that I don't know if it's true, but I'm just saying that maybe. I mean, he did go viral for saying this, right? Like, yes. did anybody know? Yeah. Was he? Well, was it caused all this controversy. There were a lot of people saying that, you know, this isn't the case. And they gave their own proofs. And they're saying, oh, you know, it only has to do with things in general that make you stray from Allah. So if music is making you stray from Allah in terms of, um, like, 
uh, the, the the lyrics and what the lyrics are promoting, or the way that the the beat, the music will make you shake your body. Like if that's making you stray, then that's not okay. But if it's not making you stray in general, then it's fine. Yeah. Um, there was a really interesting um commentary from this uh, uh Egyptian author speaking to um Al Monitor, and uh, so Egyptian author um Khalid. Mon, Mon, Montasser told all monitor quote preachers and clerics consider art in all its form as an opponent and co that competes with them for the conscience and spirit of the recipient because art and religion play on the harmony of emotion and spirit Montasser added quote clerics are afraid of losing their power over the popular conscience of art which has more tools of joy and influence than the clergy Clerics consider artists to be their enemies because of this. I thought that was very hear, poignant the way that they. Put I mean, it. that's very that's that's a. I mean, that's very true. I do hear from a lot of Iranian uh, mullahs that if you listen to music, you are fulfilling what needs to be fulfilled with religion and spiritual like connection to God. Like, like, and they also say like like it's not it's gonna close the door like that's the shaitan's the devil's way of basically distracting you from everything that is good like they keep talking about the cons of religion. and they also get like there's all a lot of islamic uh, video youtube videos uh, but they try to act like sci they're scientific about it and we're like oh studies have shown that music changes the the wavelengths in your brain and this shows that islam was right about music like like what like they like they actually they're trying to cite research and stuff like what do you mean it changed the wavelengths of my brain everything changes the, like yeah they don't knock understand the, a knock on the door does that as well like i don't know what you're talking about like oh changes the, the sound of the brain. cleric's voice coming into your perception changes the brain the wavelengths they're of like, your brain they're, they're like they're like it changes the way your brain operates well taking shit also does the same thing like everything changes the way your brain operates like it literally every experience is going to change the way your brain operates anyways um oh you have a way so, with words <laughs> is this in english can we listen to his arguments uh i'm not actually sure is it in english hold on السلام عليكم كيف صحتكم ان شاء الله تكونوا جميعا بخير نوب nope. حبيت اعمل لكم هذا الفيديو عشان احكي لكم خبر سعيد جدا That's a no nope. it's not Um, wait, here's some funny comments from the live chat. Ghost Bunny is saying, the Haram lyrics are what makes music great. I mean, WAP is such a masterpiece. For those who don't know, WAP is um, wet-ass P-word <laughs> by Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi I, B. I think it's um, and I don't think, I think YouTube is not going to be that sensitive about saying pussy. No, but I just, I wanted to say wet-ass P-word. <laughs> Oh, you wanted to pull a Ben Shapiro? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. D is saying we need shake your booty to comment. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> and Mustafa is saying my brother definitely aligns with the modern lyrical music argument. His Spotify is literally just classical music and dubstep. <laughs> I find yeah. that interesting. So, like, as long as you don't have lyrics, it's okay. You know, another motivation is that the azan and the recitation of the Quran has to be the most beautiful thing in the world that you hear, right? Mm. Because that's the that's a miracle of the Quran, right? And it's really hard to believe that when you listen to other music, <laughs> right? So I think like it's a it's another attempt to just destroy, it. like because people need music, right? And if you basically cut everything else. Maybe the Quran recitation does sound start sounding beautiful because you literally have no other form of listening to something that has a melody. You know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, I unhighlight that. What's what? Well, Wait, uh, this made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Mogambo was saying, "Wet ass panda." <laughs> <laughs> hey, pandas have pussies. Bring a bucket and, get... and a mop for that wet ass <laughs> panda. <laughs> Pandas also get wet when they're horny. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Except pandas actually, they don't get horny. They, they don't, don't? want to have sex. How do you know that? 
<laughs> because they they actually have to they they don't when they try to put them together to make them sex to save their species uh, they refuse they like don't they don't even want to have enough sex to save their own species so what did they do there but how do they how do they how do they how are they how are they even a species if they don't want to have sex they, they wouldn't artificially them. inseminate them okay but i think at some maybe something happened to them because i think they we wouldn't have pandas if they were never horny I don't know. I just know that it's a joke because they're known for being lazy. Right. They're like, they're so lazy. They don't even want to like procreate. I think maybe if they're in captivity, they're not horny. I'm pretty sure they were, they used to be horny at some point. Maybe the pandas <laughs> that we have. Yeah. Because like, yeah, the fact that we have pandas means pandas used to be horny. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Captain, Captain Nader or not there is uh, siding with you saying pandas do get horny in the wild. It's only in captivity that they get too depressed oh, to be horny. I didn't even oh. know that. I just guessed it. Look how genius I am. I didn't even know that. And I just like them. Yeah. You know, see, I just, I just came up with, I, why do we even have scientists? Just come and ask me. You don't even need to do research. Just come and just ask me and I will just give you the answer. You guys um, should hear uh, Armin's pr predictions about the disease that's going around. We can't say it because oh, of no, YouTube, yeah. but we talk and about it, it privately. Yeah. And yeah, he's been pretty on point. He was like, they should just ask me. <laughs> yeah. No oh, need I, for wait, peer I like review. This comment. Who are you guys saying? I've seen Armin listening to the Azan. He literally looked like he was going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, my God. Supreme Guru Armin. I like that. I like that. But that's actually, you're right. That is depressing. Like pandas is like the fact the fact that they in the wild they're horny and now they're not means that they're pretty depressed. Like it's not yeah. just it's not just a lack of horniness. Like there's a whole bunch of other stuff that is going on with them that they can't even feel horny. That means they're just constantly sad. Yes. <laughs> Okay, that pa that panda makes me sad. It's like <laughs> okay, it's from the fifties. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I have cuter pants. All right. <laughs> yeah, I know you do have a cuter panda. Okay, no, no, no body shaming. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Panda. Um, oh, this is cool. Right. Someone just said, first time watching you from Pakistan. Hi, from Pakistan. Hi to Pakistan and and on Twitch as well. So thank you for that. Hi. Um, okay, so oh guys, I also follow us on Twitch as well in case we get banned in India on YouTube because so you could follow us there. Make pandas horny again. <laughs> yes. Make pandas horny again. Make pandas yeah. horny again. By the way, we're not like we're not blaming the people who are keeping them in, you know, like some of these pandas do be need saving. Like some of these pandas will go extinct in like in the wild. Like don't blame everybody. Like there are people who treat pandas bad in captivity, but not all pandas in activity. You know, it's not ideal, but sometimes it's needed. Like it's for their own benefit because they don't have access to enough food and stuff in the wild. Anyways, we need to stop talking about pandas and actually go back to the news. Um, <laughs> I have no we, problem how... talking about pandas. <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.